Hello everybody, it's Stinger Splash back with another video today and it's not one that I expected to be doing but uh, the uh, news is broke not that long ago, uh, earlier on today in fact um, that uh, Silver Vision, who have been uh, suppliers of WWE uh, and WWF before it, uh, videos and DVDs and Blu-rays for the past 22 years has uh, is finally going to be finishing up with WWE. Um, the agreement ends on New Year's, uh, sorry, not New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve, 31st of December, uh, 2012. Um, which means that they won't be releasing any more titles after November. With uh, the last one being NWO: The Revolution, um, which is <laughs> interesting. But uh, yeah, so th they will no longer produce any more. They will still sell them after that date, and and stores, HMB, Play, Amazon will all sell them until stocks are are gone. But I would think at that point stocks will go fast because people will buy up anything they didn't already have. Um, you know, I'm expecting that they'll have big sales. So although it's a bit sad that I'm doing this, uh, I will be holding off on buying any DVDs that are. Uh, missing from my collection. I used to have a complete DVD collection and uh, because of the rise of Blu-rays um, you know buying them on Blu-ray and DVD at the same time is very expensive you know you're looking at 40 quid on release so uh, I sort of stopped getting the DVDs and just get the Blu-rays but I will pick up the DVDs when they're cheaper uh, and now of course there's a sale coming up I'm, I'm going to hold off until the end and then hopefully all the DVDs will be so cheap I can buy them all up for four or five quid each and and uh, sort of round out the collection and I'm sure Blu-rays will get cheaper as well but um, so I just thought I'd do this video really to talk about Silver Vision and uh, just some of my favourite you know releases that they've put out you know my favourite uh, events or uh, compilation events that they've, that they've done and you know Silver Vision and this may not continue on with whoever uh, is the new distributor uh, you know they did release stuff that was just for the UK uh, we were very very lucky here um, we had a far better collection than America get. For a start we have some uh, pay-per-view events that weren't even released on Blu-ray there uh, but will be here like uh, Money, Money in the Bank coming up um, and there's been a few other events uh, that have had Blu-ray releases that they don't get. Also our Blu-ray releases usually have extra footage that they don't get um, and we also have of course the, uh, the complete tech classic range which they haven't had as Nathan Drake gets in the way um, you know where it has all the classic events um, all the pay-per-views um, from the past including the UK events uh, and, and some other home videos uh, completely blur free no uh, blurring of the logos or anything and um, you know America get none of that uh, and so I know a lot of people will be sad on both sides of the pond about this happening but I would hope that whoever takes over will take over quickly and in January they will release Night of Champions and any other events that are already scheduled to be released by WWE. It may be that they're doing it themselves, maybe they'll release them directly so it will be a case of buying them from their shop and then outside of that if they don't have a UK shop it's going to be a case of just buying them from Amazon or, or HMV or Play and hopefully they'll be competitively priced because Silver Vision were always better than any other company uh, that you know obviously because they were selling them straight away um, you know you always got 10% off your order if you bought three items and you always got them about a month ahead of anywhere else um, so yeah so I just thought I'd have a quick uh, talk about some of my favourite races that they've done um, so I mean the first one this is all off the top of my head here really um, there's the uh, Raw the beginning uh, all the best matches and angles from seasons one and two uh, they were going to release three and four but for whatever reason I don't think it sold as well as they expected and so it got nixed which is a shame but it's a really good set I really enjoyed that um, the ladder match sets are really awesome ladder match one and two um, you know the fact the WCW stuff Stark here Rise and Fall of WCW and the Nitro set and there is a Nitro Volume 2 coming but obviously that will be released by whoever uh, takes over um, and then going on to pay-per-views obviously all the, all the box sets are up here all the, all the old years uh, maybe maybe the box sets will come back I'm hoping that the box sets come back with the new company but you never know um, but obviously Royal Rumbles and WrestleMania's most years were really really cool um, from the 2001 DVDs 
uh, in particular uh, Invasion I really enjoyed um, and from 2002 uh, Backlash was a pretty cool event so we're uh, looking at the Superstar DVDs uh, the, the Edge one's pretty good but you know I'm not too big on Cena uh, the Undertaker ones are fine but it's the same old matches really a lot of the time um, the Shawn Michaels ones were pretty good obviously most of the tag classics are awesome uh, you know the true story of Wrestlemania was a really good documentary um, and uh, I really like the Hall of Fame they were always good uh, coming down the next level anything else that takes my uh, takes my fancy here um, the Randy Savage set is nice but it's not a documentary which is a shame maybe we'll get one one day um, the Hulk Hogan unreleased is pretty cool and there's a Bret Hart one coming out soon so that'll be really awesome um, the WrestleManias obviously uh, the cage matches one's pretty good and uh, the, the the top 50s they're pretty pretty decent as well I'm looking forward to the top 50 uh, uh, finish and move set which uh, I'm getting the Blu-ray next week I think it is um, the Benoit DVD was good but you know that'll never get re-released by anyone and this is the other thing as well you know how many of these are going to get re-released by WWE or whichever distribution company it, company it is um, you know I really cannot see them ever releasing these again uh, because it would be a total waste of time and money no one's going to bother with them you know not really so you know these are going to be lost forever once they're all sold out and they're actually probably going to become quite valuable which I never thought of DVDs in this day and age but they probably will become valuable so it's good that I've uh, sort of kept it up all these years um, you know the uh, steelbooks maybe they'll come back I quite like them at least Maybe they'll do Blu-ray still, because I don't know. And uh, speaking of Blu-rays, this is the bottom shelf, this is the Ric Flair collection, another really awesome DVD. Uh, Money in the Bank, 2011, probably a bit uh, dark down here. And we'll see there's all the Blu-rays. Um, every Blu-ray, because I've, I've, I've kept up with the Blu-rays, got every Blu-ray release. Um, the last one that I got was ECW Unreleased. Yeah, so ECW Unleashed. No, it isn't released. Yeah, it's a, a long day um, but uh, yeah you know it's uh, I'll be keeping them up and hopefully when the new company brings out uh, the latest releases they will uh, still do blu-rays because maybe they'll just stick to DVDs I don't know you know may maybe uh, I think it's a good idea to do this especially for pay-per-views maybe they should do double plays because in this day and age why do you need separate DVD releases most people have access now to blu-rays and even if they don't you know, if you're if you're going to charge in ten pound for a DVD and say thirteen pound for a Blu-ray and DVD together, most will pay the extra three pound, and then they you know they're, they're future-proofed. Whenever they do get a, a Blu-ray player, and one day we'll all need one at least, that'll be a bare bit bare minimum. You know, uh, you don't have to rebuy them. So I think that's one idea they should probably go along with. Um, but yeah, so that'll do for this video. I say it's just a little sort of look back at. Uh, some of the uh, DVDs I liked. Um, I shouldn't actually forget the ECW ones. Because yeah, in this tin set over here, all the ECW events, uh, they were really cool as well. Um, and, you know, it's a shame. Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, you know, they will come back with some uh, some cool releases, whoever it is that brings them out. But for this video, thanks again for Silver Vision. Um, and thanks again for watching. Take care.